Okay, so to get started, here's what we need to do. We need to have a Google site set up. All you need is one page and it can be as simple as what I've got here. Now this would take about three or four minutes to set up. It's really quick, really easy. I have some training in the member area. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do after we have the Google site set up is we're gonna use the software to create a campaign. Okay, so what I can do here is come over into the Google sites poster click on create a new project and this I'm going to call it crypto three okay so next what I'm going to do is you can see I've got accounts already pre added in here just to save some time and um, this tab here will be for upload results once we start to post so what I want to do now is I want to come over into the options okay and I'm going to make sure that I ping the URLs I'm not going to index the URLs because I forgot to add my indexer in here and I'm not going to add a link wheel here either. Um, what I will do though is I will make my threads um, five maximum, okay? And I'm gonna choose long tail send keywords. Now I'm gonna check box this and I'll show you how it works in a second. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna choose the project I want to work with. Now what is the long tail send keywords? Well, if I come into the long tail send tool over here, you can see it's just a list of keyword phrases that will be used to create the titles of each page that is being created. Okay, now you can do something more with this, as in you can build out these keywords to be proper headlines, for example. Okay, um, and that might be a very, very good way to do it, but for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to leave it just like this and I'll tell you where I got the keywords from. I just come over here into other suggest. I did a search for crypto. I came into the filter over here. I made sure that this SEO difficulty was not more than 35. Okay. And once I had done that, I just grabbed the keywords from here. There's not that, not that many. I'm just doing this for demonstration. And here you can see I've got like 30 keywords in here. Okay, so now when I come up to the Google Sites poster, I've got everything set up. I've got my 30 keywords within this long tail send keywords campaign. I'm going to ping the um, search uh, the posts once they've been done, the successful posts once they have been done. And I'm going to do it with five threads. I'll come over here. Now I need to add some content. Now I'm going to keep this really simple. We've got some more in-depth training. The first thing to do is the money URL. Okay, now the money URL, here's what's important about this. We want to link back to the home page. If I put in here a link like this, that's going to put a link in every single post that we do, every single page or post that we do. It's going to put that link in there. What I suggest you do is to put a link in here to your home page of your Google site. This is going to create more pages. So if I just bring over an example here of a Google site that's already got some posts. You can see all of these posts here should be linking back into the home page. Okay. Next, what we can do is we can click on this button here under the posts tab, click on add. Okay. And here we can go and look for content. Now you can search for content. If you've got um, accounts with article builder or big content search, I don't use those so much anymore. What I do use, it's very, very simple. We click on this one to say embed multimedia. Okay, I'm just going to expand this. You can see we've got some tabs across the top here. We've got images, we've got playlists, we've got videos, we've got buttons. These are call to action buttons. We've got maps and we have got settings. We have already pre-populated some API keys in here. If you find for any reason that your video searches is not working, come back in here and change the API key. I put these in here to give you a kickstart so you can get started, but ideally you are going to um, create your own API keys. So what I will do is I'm going to type in here crypto. Okay. I'll put in here crypto bot or crypto trading, maybe we'll try. What I will do is I will check box all of these. I don't need to do anything else but check box. Okay, 
Next, I'm going to come into the video section in here. Now, there's two ways I can do this. I can take a video that I want to be on every single page. It could be a demo for a software, for example, if it's an affiliate campaign. Or if I just want to randomly have multimedia generated, that's going to give me unique multimedia on every page, as in it's going to change the video on every single page, just randomly. At the same time, it's going to change the images on every page randomly. Then you can choose from here. I will show you how it works, but I'm not going to do it this way that I'm going to show you. If I put in here, crypto trading, I'll just fix my typo here. And I type in search. Well, it's going to find the videos in YouTube. Now I can checkbox all of these, or I can simply come over here and choose a URL that I want to add. And I'm just going to clear that to get rid of those so that they don't get posted. And I can take a video URL from a video that is a demo for an affiliate program that I want to promote. Okay, so next I will go into this tab here for the YouTube playlist. I will show you how it works, but I do not suggest that you use this unless it's going to be your own playlist within your own YouTube channels, okay? I'll explain why in a webinar would that we will do um, next week after this launch has finished, okay? Do this with your own playlist only, but here's how it works if you just want to put some random multimedia content into mass page building campaigns. All we need to do here is we type in any keyword. I'll put it in here, crypto for beginners, and we can do a search. Oops, if that happens, click it again. Okay, and you will see that there's a bunch of playlists. Now, if I checkbox any of those, they will be added. I'm not going to checkbox those. That's how you would use it. You would just checkbox the ones that you want. I'm going to clear this. I don't want it there. Now, this is important, the buttons, okay? What we've actually done here is we've made it into hyperlinks because we could not get the buttons to expand for people who, who are using longer phrases of text or longer um, amount of characters of text. But what we can do is we can still hyperlink in here. And this is important because not only are we going to have a link going back to the home page, but we can also put calls to actions on every single page that we create. So here, I'm just going to put in an example from one I did before. I'll just copy this from my other screen here and paste it in here. Okay, this one's to take a dollar trial for Crypto Suite, which is in a launch on JV0 right now. I'll click on that. Now I add a second button. That means that we're going to get two hyperlinks within the content that we do this mass page building with. Okay. Click on here to add the button. Just make sure that you check box both of these and they will be added in here. The maps, I'm not going to use. This is not for local SEO. If you want to use the maps, you need um, to wait until we have fixed the settings anyway. We will do some settings for this where you will need to put in an API key from Google and that will be um, an API key to be able to use maps and other related um, embeds that you can use for that particular um, local SEO stuff, but they will charge you for usage of that. I will give more details once we have added it in here. Right now we don't have it added. I kept this in here because we will add it back, okay? So anyway, that's everything I need to do here. I just need to click on close, and you can see here that I've got 20 images. I've got no videos. Let me just come back and check that one more time. Oh, I forgot to put my video URL in here. Just bear with me. Okay, yeah, I forgot to click on add. You need to, need to click on add here. No, I can close it. So I've got 20 images, one video, no maps and no playlists, but I do have my two call to actions as well. I'm going to add something in here just for the first title. And then after that, it's going to take all the titles from the keywords in the long tail alpha. So what we can do in here, I'm just going to put in here, crypto trading bots 2021. something like that okay now we can put some text in here as well for example I can put in the short code for the title and it's going to take that title from the long tail alpha now you would have noticed I've got three columns in the long tail alpha tool I'll explain that in a separate video in the membership area 
I just used one column because I just had a list of keywords I wanted to use for demo. But in the case that you have got, you know, those three columns um, used, you can take the front end modifier, the main keyword, or the location if you're doing local SEO, and you can just embed that with short quotes around your content, okay? Now, next, what I want to do is I want to put in some text in here, okay? So I'm just going to grab some text from the JV page from the Crypto Suite. So just bear with me a second. Okay, all I've done here is I took one of the swipes from their JV page and I can just simply click to add this in here. Now you can put other things in here if you want to as well. You can put in some extra links and stuff like that, but I don't think the links are gonna be clickable unless you go for the embedded um, multimedia options that we got within the posting that I just showed you there. Right, so that's um, everything ready. All we need to do now is we just need to click on here to start posting. Just make sure we've chosen the right um, accounts in here. Yeah, we have, okay. And I'm gonna click on start posting and you can see it starts with five threads. So we've got five threads pop up here. Now, when you're using the software, you might want to do this at a time when you don't need to be using the computer afterwards because it needs to have these windows pop up because it's gonna be using some copy and paste along the way. Okay, so this would work well if you did it like uh, overnight or if you were going out or something like that and you just put in a campaign and started the campaign as you were leaving and just leave the software to work on its own. You do not need any proxies and it can take up to about 60 or 80 seconds sometimes, depending on your computer resources. Now, because I set this at five threads, it's gonna take me a little bit longer, especially on this computer, and especially when I've got multiple softwares running at the same time, um, including Camtasia. So you just have to be a little bit patient. It will start to pop up like this, and then it's going to log into your Google account now, anything up here, any warnings like this, like the version of Firefox is no longer supported, don't worry about that. We've already gone past all that kind of stuff. It's just that browser is easier to work with our software. So all we have to do is just sit here and let it do its work. And you can see it's logged in. We didn't have to confirm anything again after we added our accounts in the first time. And so it's just going to work. And it's gonna pre-fill these page names, the call to action buttons and all that kind of stuff okay so i will pause this and come back when it's when it's posted um something so that you can see but it's very very simple software to use and it works really well okay so you can see it's done some posts and we can just click through on these and we can have a look at a couple of these and we've got our image we've got our text in here we have our video embedded and we got three different hyperlinks and plus we have at the top if you do your settings the way i show you in the member area you will have another call to action up here as well so what we've actually got in here is links going out sort of outbound links um, to affiliate mm -hmm. offers and you have got a link here going back to the home page as well okay so that can give you some internal linking okay so the main thing that we're trying to do here is we're trying to internal link back to the home page it's the home page that we want to get ranking that's where we want to put our main landing page and everything else is mass page building so that we can identify some keywords that we can write for without needing any backlinks without needing um, to do very much at all and we can identify those that have got um, traffic and the way that we do that is just by simply adding our site into Google Analytics and that is one of the major benefits from doing this kind of strategy because if you try to do this with WordPress it can work but it can take a long time to get indexed on WordPress if you try to do it on YouTube it can work but it doesn't tell you the traffic volumes it will not tell you the impressions etc and it will not tell you um, you know the kind of traffic volumes that you could be able to get in the same sense as what you can with the Google AdSense when you can see the amount of impressions from the Google sites. So this has got major advantages and it is a really powerful tool, a really powerful platform to be able to get page one rankings. So that's it, that's the demo, it's very, very simple. I've got more videos in the membership area. If you've got any questions, you can ask in there as well. And we will be doing a webinar where we can cover some FAQ and we will do a separate webinar where we can cover some strategy stuff as well. Thank you for watching.